Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I just wanted to quickly go through the difference between some fonts and how they look as a cut and how they look as a draw. Now there's two ways in which your fonts and your images can look as a draw. One way is what I call single line and the other is double line. Now I prefer when I'm using pens or draw, deboss, engrave, that I am using a single line font or image because I just think it looks nicer. However, there are some fonts that also give the illusion of infill with their double lines and they can look good as well. So it is very font specific and the overall look that you're going for. Now not all types of fonts are suitable for draw and cut. So for example, I've got a single line system font and I will link in the description below to some great single line fonts that you can install onto your computer and then Design Space can use them as a system font. Now these are specifically single line and they are created for working with pens, the foil tool, the deboss, the engrave and so you'll always have it as a single line. That works great as a draw, as I say, foil, deboss, engrave but will not work so well as a cut because it just isn't thick enough. The majority of fonts that you bring into Design Space, so you install onto your computer, will not have the writing feature. So when you turn them from a cut to a draw, you'll see that they have this double line situation going on. Now Cricut fonts, now Cricut have a nice selection of writing fonts. So you can see here, this is a writing font set to cut and this is a writing font set to draw. Again, we've got that nice single line. Here we've got a Cricut font that does not have a writing selection. This is it as a cut. And then again, as a draw, we get that double line. So to find Cricut fonts that are single line, if we open up a text box and we come up to our font box, I'm set to Kerned. I'm going to remove that because that does affect my search results. I'm set to Cricut. If I open up my filters, I can filter to writing. So this will now give me all of the Cricut fonts that have got the writing option. Now some of them will come in, when I select them, they'll come in single line and sometimes you have to change them. So for example, if we select Alphalicious, you'll see the operation is set to cut and the style is regular. If I change the style, to writing, it will then change it to pen and you'll see we've got that nice single line. If I select this one which is algebra, it will automatically change it to a writing style, however the operation is set to print and cut, so I need to change it to pen always, even when you select a writing font, always check the style and the operation. You can also, as I was saying, get some fonts that although don't have a writing style, when you change them from a cut to a pen or a foil, or a deboss, or an engrave, depending on your machine type, because they've got elements within each of the letters, depending on the size that you create it, you can create an infilled 
effect because don't forget that with the engrave, the pen, the deboss, the foil, you can't actually have the machine colour in for you. It will only create an outline. So fonts that have these inside elements, you can create the illusion of an infill. But it does depend on the font and it depends on the size. The smaller it is, the more of an illusion you'll get compared to the larger it is. And there we go. I just wanted to quickly go through how different types of fonts will react differently to the setting, be it cut, draw, foil, engrave, deboss, and which font style will work better for you depending on the setting and the project. So it's always worth knowing and also knowing how you can find them and change them. As I say, I will put links to some single line fonts in the description below because they're always really handy to have, although Design Space does have some great ones as well. As always, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really does help me and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!